Hello everyone, my name is Ernie. Today I'm gonna show you how to make LULC map from Google or Engine platform. First step, you should add your ROI. Here I will use my ROI, the mark regency, as a table and add to the layer, add layer to the map, sorry. And make it a center object. Zoom, for example, is 11. And run it. So my ROI is already showing here. The next step is you should find your data set. Here I will make a LULC map in 2023. So here I will use Landsat 8 reflectance bands, reflectance, surface reflectance here. So just click here. Okay, it's already here. And clip the snippet. For example, for data set. And write your filter date here and clip with uh, your uh, table and do the filtering with the cloud cover less than 10%. And if you want to know how many data set that provide with that in your area, just print data set and run it and here in the console you will find how many data sets is 11 in my ROI I have 11 elements with a club cover less than 10 percent to reduce the cloud influence we can use the mean value so just write the code for mean value so the, this mean value can reduce your uh, temporal vari uh, variability and reduce the cloud influence so here you only have one image after you uh, do the mean value After import and process the Landsat data set, you can do the radiometric corrections and clip with your ROI. So how to do this? Just uh, do the scaling factor here with multiply with this value and add with this value, minus 0.2. The next step is you can do the visualization. Visualization is uh, one of the important step because when you do the classification, you should use the visualization to classify your class. So here I will use false color composite and true color composite. So for true color composite, I use band number six, band number five, and band number four. And for 
false color composite, I use band number 5, band number 4, and band number 3. And then run it. So here, before only one layer, now I have three layer here. One is my ROI, and the second is for true color composite, and the last layer is for false color composite. Based on this color, you can do the classification in your ROI. And the next step is uh, do the classification. Here, I will use five class, forest, bearland, agriculture, buildup, and water body. So I will use five uh, class, class here. So how to do that? Just go here and then click here and give the name, for example, here, forest and then picture collection for property you can write class here and give the value zero and do for next layer for example build up area picture collection class give number one okay and then for example berlin picture collection class kit number two okay here Give the name, for example, water body. Picture collection property class and give number three. Okay. And the last is agriculture. picture collection right class and give number four so here I have five class and after that after you have your class and just do the give the point sample point in every class for example here's forest okay If you want to use satellite uh, view, just click the satellite satellite so it will showing satellite view. It will help you for visualization. Okay, here I have forest here. You can see here. This one for visualization in false colors composite. This one for true colors. Just take a point sample point for the uh, forest area. And if you want to do for the build up area, just click in the build up. With the red colors find the build up area here's you can find it okay build up area sorry okay and just give the point
for my case or for my my ROI, I every class I take around one hundred fifty uh, points in every uh, class for my uh, training data. Okay, after we do the uh, click on every uh, give the point in every uh, class and then uh, make a training data how to do that just make a variant a label as a class before we have that and a bands is here i will use band number five four three two seven and one and input is data set is from here and select this bands for training data just merge all these five class forest merge with bearland merge with water body merge with built up and merge it with the agriculture class so here i divide uh, the training data into two one is for the train set and the second is for the test set so 80 percent is for training set and 20 percent for the test set after that the next step is do the uh, train and classify here i use model for uh, to classify is using the smile card and for classified the input is the classifier so here is the modeling that i use and this code is for the classified my class land cover the next step is for the accuracy assessment here i will use the matrix computations with this code and i will print it and after that uh, i export the my image or my land cover a classification in 2023 here after all just run it okay need the time i think so here you will have the overall accuracy in the console area and if you want to uh, export your image it will be uh, provide here okay this one the my roi classifications this is for true color my true colors and this is for false color and this is for the cla classification of my land use land cover the mock regency I hope this tutorial will help you in your area and don't forget to subscribe and comment in my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. See you.